Imagine if the government was the only one with guns, and then it turned on its people. This is exactly why the Second Amendment exists. Here is what it states. A well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. The founders knew that government, if it got too big, could use armies to oppress its people. And it's true. Just look at tyrannical regimes, and you will discover that citizens are forbidden to own guns. So the founders empowered Americans to protect themselves by giving them the right to keep and bear arms. Some may argue that the Second Amendment doesn't apply to the individual, but that idea is completely false. America was founded upon the principle that rights belong to individuals, not the state. The Founding Fathers were gun owners, gun collectors, and hunters. They also had won their independence with their guns in hand. Since our country inherently upholds individual rights, there is no doubt that the Second Amendment was written with American citizens in mind. And on top of that, what if someone broke into your home in the middle of the night? What if there was an active shooter at your workplace, at the mall, or at your school? Or what if a terrorist attack happened in your city? The police and the military exist to protect American citizens, but they don't always make it there on time, especially when you have seconds to protect you and the people you love. Wouldn't you feel safer if you had a gun? The Second Amendment is one of the most important rights in our Constitution. The right for you to own a gun is a right that protects you, your family, and your country, and it must be defended. I'm Will Witt. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see us continue to make videos on every amendment in the Bill of Rights and answer other civics questions, please consider making a tax-deductible donation to PragerU today.